team. So I hired John Carmack and uh, Adrian Carmack, who are not related, into my department for programming and art. And Tom Hall came in at night to help us out since he was already at Soft across the hall, and he loved making games. And this was the first time that any of us had actually worked with another person on a game uh, after making them alone for 10 years. That's what it was like in the 80s. It was programming alone. Um, but it was incredible when we got together. So while creating our first game, uh, it was called Slordax, John Carmack discovered this smooth scrolling trick uh, on the PC. So Tom Hall and John stayed up just one random night, um, stayed up until 5 a.m. making this demo uh, that they called Dangerous Dave in Copyright Infringement. <laughs> The next day, I saw this disc on my desk, um, and I ran the demo, and I watched the screen scroll smoothly, pixel by pixel, and it was a massive eureka moment for me. It was like a bolt of lightning hit, and I'll elaborate on why it was in a moment. But id Software was born that instant on September 20th of 1990. So one thing led to another, and we spent about a week putting together a demo of Super Mario Brothers 3 for Nintendo on a PC, which they liked. We sent it to them. They liked it, but they decided not to publish it because they decided to only publish their games on their own NES platform, which was a smart move. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. We just used the technology for a different game, for the Commander Keen trilogy, the very first Commander Keen trilogy that we made. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> All right, so, you know, why would a side-scroller be a huge hit on PCs in 1990? Well, it's because no games on the PC could, small, could scroll smoothly, horizontally, <laughs> per pixel at the time. Uh, the PC had been out since August of 1981, but in nine years, no one had ever figured out how to make the screen scroll smoothly that way until this Dangerous Dave and Copyright Infringement demo, which then led to Commander Keen.